Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another EDC knife video for you. And today I thought I'd show you this little guy. And it's the Civivi Ferrum Forge Odium. Now, I wanted this knife. I've been waiting for this to come out since beginning of the year. When videos from SHOT Show came out. And the ones that went to the Wii Civivi table, they showed this. And I, I thought it was... You know, just so cool. I've been waiting for it. I've had it on back or um, pre order at Blade HQ for like since the middle of July. And they just came available last week. And I got it today. And I just want to get, get a quick video out about it because as of right now, it's August 28th, it's about 7 30 p.m. All six models or all six versions are available on Blade HQ for $52.70. And we'll do the usual, go over the specs, some size comparisons, talk about a little bit. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a Civivi Ferrum Forge Odium. It is designed by Ferrum Forge and it is very closely designed after the Archbishop, Ferrum Forge's Archbishop. Um, this is a little bit smaller from what I, can, I know, but very similar design as the Arch, Archbishop. And this thing is not a big knife. This thing's tiny. In fact, even though I read the specs, I knew the specs, it's still a little bit smaller than I thought it was. But <clears throat> you have an overall length of 6.19 inches. The blade length is 2.65. You have a cutting edge about 2.25. Handle is 3.54. And the blade height is 1 inch. The blade thickness is 0 0.12 you got a flat grind that comes just starts just below the hole and you can see the the line so it's flat ground from here all the way down and this slice is pretty good rides on bearings pretty good action like I said I just got this today it's got a small flipper tab that has some jimping on it that's the easiest way to open it for me um, this hole you can definitely use it you can thumb flick it i can for or reverse finger flick it now this is pretty small i'm having a hard time middle finger flicking it I can do it but not very good I feel like I'm gonna th throw it right on my hand get talk get more into that and get to the scales but it also has this awesome forward finger choil I can get my fat sausage fingers in there no problem good jimping on top works it's not, not too sharp it's not overly aggressive but it works kind of locks your thumb in this forward finger trail is excellent you can choke back and um back i can get three fingers i wear extra large size gloves easy three fingers my pinky just misses the end but choked up in the finger trail Man, I can get all four fingers on this little guy. Feels great. I don't feel that pocket clip this way back here. I do. I do feel. I feel the end of the clip in the palm of my hand, but not bad. I wouldn't wouldn't complain too much about it. And I have a thing about feeling feeling pocket clips in the palm of my hand. You watch any of my videos you know <laughs> there's some knives that just drives me insane but 
this isn't bad. Um, yeah, it's not definitely no no deal breaker for me. But up here, I don't even feel it. So that's excellent. Got G10 scales, and they're um, shadow boxed by the liners, like the like the Civivi Elementum is. Uh, this is the S35 um, version of the Elementum. But you can see the scales all the way around, or the, the liners around the outside of the scale. I, I, I like that. Some people don't like that look. I do. Um, I think just enough extra silver, you know, the pivot, the silver and the pivot, the seed matches that. Otherwise, it's all black blacked out. The back side of the pivot's silver. But yeah, now the G10, you know, it's ch chamfered around, really nice. It is smooth. It is very smooth, G10. It is kind of slick in hand, and that's part of the reason why I'm having a hard time spidey flicking. Um, I just can't keep a can't keep a good grip on it. I can do it, but doesn't feel secure when I try it now with my index finger I can do it thumbs easy but yeah I'm kind of tired of flippers but I think this is gonna be a flipper for me although when you don't want to flip it out make that noise you know around people you can definitely easily slow roll it And tell you the truth, you know, a lot of times that's what I do anyways. Roll it out. Do what I have to do. Put it back in my pocket before anybody really notices. But <clears throat> this is so small, it's not going to be, you know, overly threatening to anyone. You know, it's all blacked out, kind of um, technical, but... They come in, this thing comes in an array of colors, orange, tan, or, orange, blue, gray, black, you know, er everything else has stone wash, regular stone wash blades. I just opted for the black wash, black handles. I'd like to have a little orange one like, of this, but... Handle thickness is not real thick, um, but it feels pretty good in hand. It's only, now let me look, I gotta look. 0.43, yeah I got, make sure it's zeroed out. Hit the thickest spot, I got about 0.44. Like I said, it's a it's a small knife. Doesn't weigh very much at all. It says 2.5. My scale says 2.5, so exactly on. Blade thickness is measure it. So I got 0 0.117, 118. So round up, yeah. 0.12 and this thing's a slicey little little dude I I've cut some cardboard and paper and played with it pocket clip you got a deep carry pocket clip although it's going to be semi deep carry you're going to have a little bit sticking out it is right hand left hand tip up which is good um I don't know if I mentioned it rides on bearings. Action's pretty good. It's a liner lock. Lockup's decent. Probably 40%. Stainless steel liners are skeletonized. If you can see that. On both sides. That reduces the weight. 
you got a G10 backspacer, which on top is raised a little bit. And that gives a little, that helps with the grip a little bit. Because like I said, the scales, these are smooth scales. Um, I hard, hardly feel any kind of texturing, but boy, they look nice though. Like I said, they're sh chamfered all around. What's kind of, there's no lanyard hole, so they they could have, I guess, had what I don't know, the blade to be right, right there, but I don't, I don't use lanyard holes. I don't care, but some people, and this being a small, small knife, it might have been handy. Um, overall fit and finish, man. You know, it's what you expect from Civivi and Ferrum Forwards, but this seems exceptionally well done. Um, I haven't had a Civivi that I complain about fit and finish, and this is no exception. Blade centering is dead iron. Pocket clips. Kind of, you know, the regular Civivi pocket clip, but it's shorter. You can see, compare it to these two. Quite a bit smaller. Definitely smaller than the Banters. I'm showing you all my size comparisons. I haven't done that yet. About about the length of a mini bug out. So yeah, let's, since I showed you half my knives, so let's do the size comparison. CJRB small feldspar, which isn't a big knife either, but the odium is quite a bit smaller. Benchmade bug out. It's even smaller than the mini bug out. Handles a little bit longer on the bug out, blades a little bit longer. Definitely, all these knives you're going to have more cutting edge because this has that awesome front finger choil. Uh, Elementum, one of my favorites. You can see it's quite a bit smaller than the Elementum. Another one of my favorites, We Banter. And as you can see, it's quite a bit, it's still smaller than the Wee Banter, which I call a small big knife. Um, it's small, but handle shorter, blade shorter. Actually, the overall blade, yeah, you can see, blade is a little longer. Now, the closest thing I have to this size is my C C R K T Pete. And these are very, very close. Line the pivots up. Handle on the on the peats just a little bit longer. It's a little bit taller. Blade length's about the same. You got a small well, it's an oversized sharpening trial. It's not really a finger trial, but on the peat you can get your tip of your finger in there. Use that pretty good. I do. So, cutting length. It's going to be longer on the peat. Although, the Odium's got more of a belly. <clears throat> and show you the how it carries real quick. Put it on my Gondek EDC Hanks. And, yeah, yeah, about... A little bit sticking up. You know, about, about a quarter inch. Quarter inch sticking up, but it, well, I don't know. It really doesn't look like a knife. It's got a small clip. Kind of weird tip. It could be some kind of weird, you know, permanent black marker or something. This thing, 
fits in my fifth pocket, my watch pocket, which is how I usually carry the Pete. Is a secondary in my fifth pocket when I do carry it. This thing carries good in the fifth pocket. I had it in my you know my regular front pocket, my jeans for a while. I changed to athletic shorts, you know, gym shorts. I've had this in the pocket. You forget it's there. Like it said, it's only two and a half ounces. Um, what else? I think it's pretty. I did I mention it's D2 steel? You can see a little tiny print D2. The black wash finish. I've never been big on the black black blades, but I've gotten a few. And I don't mind them at all. Technically, this is my wife's knife, the mini bug out, but. And you can see. She's used it. She doesn't carry it, like I said before, but she uses it, so it shows somewhere. And I've used. I, I've used the banter a lot in this Elementum lot, and. They are holding up excellent, so I would expect this to hold up pretty good for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I just want to do a real quick video. I haven't used this enough to do like a full review of what I actually think of it, how it works, but I just want to get a video out because they are still available. At least I'm Blade HQ as of right now filming of this video. All six versions are available, and let me tell you, I I like the orange handle one. I'm not big in getting multiple of the same kind. The only reason I got another Elementum is the S35 VN steel, but the Civivi Ferrum Forge Odium, I'm digging it. Um, especially that forward finger choil and it feels it feels good in my hand like I said I wear extra large size gloves this is a little knife a little over six inches long and choking up on it and it feels nice but oh I'm sure I'll carry this and um, I know I'm going to carry it I'll put it through its paces, and I'll do a review. I have to do reviews on, or, you know, a review on the banter, because it's one of my favorite knives. And spoiler alert, if you watch my, my top five most carried knives for the month videos, the banter is going to be in it. Is it still the top one? Now you have to watch and find find that out and there's only a couple of days left in a month so this might this would be I'm, I'm going to carry this I know I am that'll give me what three and a half days I'll probably bring this out just as an honorable mention but yeah like I said, just a quick video, because they're available. If you're interested, I'd go check it out. Blade HQ's got them. I'm sure other places have them. But as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you had, had the Odium or going to get it or what you think of it. And subscribe to the channel if you have it. And thanks to everyone that has sus subscribed. I picked up quite a few subscribers over the past month. And... I really appreciate it. It's cool. I hope I hope the channel keeps growing like, like it has been. And I guess until next time, bye.